Good evening, YouTubers. 406 Shaver coming back to you with my shave of the night. Um, the first couple of seconds of the video is my shave of the night. Uh, I've got the Yardley shaving soap, the Shave Nation bowl, the razor, which in my previous video I referred to as a gym razor. It's actually stamped Ever Ready in the back on the back of it. So I do apologize for that. I've got the Shave Nation brush. And once again, I have the Gentleman Jim's uh, beard oil and beard balm. And then the Shave Nation Allen block for any nicks or cuts. So I'm going to go ahead and get my razor, my brush, and my Shave Nation bowl temper in here. So how are you doing tonight, YouTube? Is it cold where you guys live? Uh, is it windy? I was at work today and it was... I woke up first thing in the morning and it wasn't snowing out. But as soon as I got to work, it started snowing. And I figured I was going to have a pretty long day from there. So once again, I had to clear snow off the sidewalks and throw sand and ice melt. Um, other than that, it wasn't too bad of a day, though. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, as pertaining to the shave, I have four days of growth, give or take. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be working with tonight. Um, once again, if you guys have any ideas for videos, any requests of stuff that you'd like to see, earlier tonight before I jumped in the shower, I just did a quick uh, video of my, the tour of the shave den here, um, or communal bathroom, however you want to you wanna put it. But that was a subscriber request. One of my subscribers asked me if I would do that video, and I just, I literally just got done filming it. And I'm going to go ahead and edit that and try and have it up on YouTube tonight. I'm going to try and also have this video up on my page tonight as well. But for some reason, it takes me a long time to um, upload my videos on YouTube. So this one actually might not make its appearance until tomorrow. But rest assured, it, it's, it'll be up there at some point. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get my shave started here. That Shave Nation brush has a very nice heavy handle on it. I like that. So what are you all up to, YouTube? You got any big plans for the weekend? Um, I personally have a... Uh, I, I don't know. A uh, co-ed baby shower. Baby shower to go to this weekend. Um, normally I would take, you know, try and use every excuse in the book to get out of something like this, but it is a baby shower for mine and my wife's child, so probably gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and go to that one. Um, and then Sunday I'll, I'll have to work, but I do have the day off tomorrow, so that's good. I'm gonna try and have another video up maybe Saturday evening but we'll see how it goes it may not show up until um, later next week so go ahead and get my lather mixed up here and just a touch of water uh, the Yardley soap um, I got it for my birthday from my Aunt Connie so Aunt Connie if you see this thank you very much I really enjoy the soap uh, she has an antique store back back home where we're from, so she was kind enough to give me that, as well as an old Gillette razor that she had in her shop. So one of these days I'll go ahead and do a shave with that. Uh, this Yardley soap, um, I don't know. It has a good lather and everything. It's It's very slick. I think I've done one other shave with this. Uh, it doesn't really have a smell though. I don't know if that's typical of Yardley or not. Um, I'd actually never heard of it until I showed up in the in the gift bag that day. But yeah, it's a good soap. Uh, nice and slick, as I said. And this razor, it's been kind of a kind of a love hate with this razor. Um, Ever ready single edge. Uh, it's got a new um, single edge 
super stainless blade. Um, I say new, uh, it was it was still in the package, but it actually has gem across the uh, the top bar of the razor. So I'll let you know what it's like. Feels, it feels grabby. Feels like it's pulling my hair. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I like that. I know you can get new single edge blades from some of the websites. Um, I may have to look into doing that because this one doesn't really feel like it's cutting real well. So after this first pass, I may actually, I don't know, kind of play it by ear. Once I rinse off after my first pass, we'll see what's going on. Yeah, this this razor isn't really shaping very well at all. Go ahead and Yeah, I don't I think I'm all, all I'm getting with that is irritation, so we go ahead and grab another razor here and uh we'll we'll get to shaving here soon. Take a look at this razor really quick though. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be bent that extreme. Um, like I said, this is actually the first razor that I've seen like this. Um, everything else looks to be in decent order as far as, you know, the working parts and everything. But it just, it doesn't seem to me like it should be bent that steep. So, when you watch the video, take a look um, if you're a razor expert and tell me what you think about that razor. And, uh... Go ahead and let that Gillette temper again and I'll get some fresh lather on here. Yeah, that that was not enjoyable. I think all I would have ended up with that razor is just a just a red face. Not that I don't usually have one of those, but even more so. The Shave Nation brush is very nice. It's nice. It's got a weighted handle. I like that. I just hope I don't drop it because it'll probably crack my sink and everything else. You probably heard me clanging it on the on the Shave Nation bowl a couple of times. I hope I don't break that. Getting some nice good peaks on the ladder here. Got some nice good peaks on the collar of my shirt right there. That's always nice. I'll give that a little shave after I get done. So, YouTubers, um, for those of you that do wet shave, what do you wet shave with? Uh, do you use a cartridge razor? Do you use uh, like one of the Norelco electric shavers? Um, single edge, straight edge? DE, what do you use? Uh, what kind of soap do you like to use? Do you like to use cream? Do you like to use soft pucks? Do you like to use hard pucks? Um, no, no soap at all because you're just a rugged manly man, unlike me. Um, leave me some comments of what you guys like to use. 
Um, I try and check out new soaps from time to time. That Atomic Age Bay Rum that I got from um, Phoenix Artisan, that is a wonderful, wonderful soap. Very happy with that purchase. Um, I got something else from them too. Obviously my Scuttle. But I thought I had another of their soaps, but... Oh no, that was the, the Razor Rock, Razor Rock Motherfucker that I'm thinking of. But yeah, Phoenix Artisan, their, their soap game is spot on. And they're coming out with a new soap too. I don't know if you guys heard about that. Um, Planet Nine is what they're calling it. And if it's half as good as, as... Atomic Age Bay Rum, it's it's going to be dynamite as well. Alright, there was, uh, for those of you that are keeping count, pass number two, but we're going to go ahead and call that pass number one. Because I had to redo pass number one, because pass number one with the original razor was boop. I like this bowl a lot because it has a nice little little uh, circle here on the bottom that's nice to grip. But the last couple of shaves I've been using that Crown King Scuttle from from Phoenix Artisan, and it's kind of kind of got me spoiled. I like the nice warm lather. Um, not that this lather isn't, you know, not that this lather is cold or anything, because it was here in the shower while I was in the shower, but that scuttle just keeps my lather nice and warm and I like that. So I will try and feature that in some more videos. So, for those of you that do use DE razors, uh, what brand is your favorite, if you have a favorite brand? Um, I, I like Gillette, haven't really tried a whole lot of others. I have the, uh, the one razor from, from Walmart with the Pawn Stars guy on it. Um, so I think I was out of town and I had forgotten to bring a razor, so I just picked that up and some some shaving gel from Walmart for just a quick, you know, in a pinch shave. And uh, that razor was junk. Did not like that razor at all. Um, and then I. I picked up the Vanderhagen razor, the twist to open razor, and aside from the markings on the on the butterfly flaps, it looks like spot on the exact same razor. So, needless to say, I wasn't really a fan of that one either. I still have it just to sit back there in the in the display area. But yeah, I don't don't believe I'm gonna be doing any videos with those in the near future. Uh, I don't believe it was a blade because I know for sure in the Vanderhagen blade I was using a Dorco blade, or in the Vanderhagen razor I was using a Dorco blade, um, and I was using a Dorco blade in the Pawn Stars razor as well because. It, that came with Dorco blades. So. I like Gillette razors. Um, I do have the Vikings blade. The one that cut me up the other night. On Halloween, actually. 
That was my Halloween shave of the night. Um, I do like that razor. Um, I don't. I must have just been being too heavy-handed with it that night, and it it let me know. Alrighty, well, that is going to be the end of that shave. Um, once I switched razors, the shave improved greatly. Get rinsed off here and cleaned up. And Oh, I don't have an aftershave. I did not pick one of those out. Too bad, pretty close, pretty decent. Did feel a few little nicks there, so I'm gonna put some Allen block on. Mm. It's a good burn, quite. Quite, quite good. All righty, aftershave. Um. I think I'm probably going to go with the Old Spice Spray Classic deodorant tonight, or the aftershave tonight. Just got myself in the eye a little bit there. It feels good. It's good for the eyeballs. Mm. Quite, quite good. Good for the eyeballs. Put the uh, Gentleman Jim's Beard Oil on. I really, really really enjoy this stuff um i actually bought it he had a booth at the the gun and antique show here back in september it's a good scent um keeps my you know my chin the skin on my chin and you know my upper lip and lower lip nice and hydrated before i started using this beard oil um it was just like dander city down there used to get real itchy um ever since i started using the beard oil you know it wasn't really dandruffy anymore and you know my beard has felt a lot smoother um i wish he had had like an like a website or something i would definitely definitely put the link in one of my videos or up on my page but yeah, it's Gentleman Jim's of Montana. And like I said, he's got beard oil, beer balm. Um, I think he said his wife was going to start doing like shaving soap. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. All right. Well, YouTube, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up here and get the bathroom back in order. But if you like what you saw, i got two videos going up here um, in the next, you know, tonight or tomorrow at the latest. Um, if you have any requests, give me a like and a subscribe. Leave me a comment of what you want to see me do. Um, you know, if it's a, a new soap or something, um, it might be you know, a couple days up to a week, but I will see what I can do to go ahead and get that done for you. Um, I'm looking at a couple of different razors. Um, so yeah, give me a like, a subscribe, uh, share my videos, and I will, as far as subscriber requests or even viewer requests, I will do what I can. But other than that, have a good night, YouTube. May all your shapes be smooth.